following program is brought to you in conjunction with Northern State University in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Good evening. I'm Brady Nicholas with your Boys State Evening News. The 74th Annual South Dakota American Legion Boys State began on Monday afternoon at the campus of Northern State University in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Representatives from around the state were assigned to dorms and were introduced to their cities in the respective city meeting rooms. Boy State Governor Andrew Flannery and Boys Nation delegates Austin Lynch and Andrew Silva informed Boy Staters about the week ahead and the opportunity for two representatives to attend Boys Nation later this summer. The opening ceremony took place that night as NSU Provost Dr. Alan Lefebvre addressed Boy Staters and congratulated them on both their acceptance and decision to attend Boy State. In honor of Memorial Day, the ceremony concluded by paying respect to former Boy Staters who gave their lives while serving in the armed forces of the United States. Tuesday morning, Dean of Counselors Dan Heil gave two young men the opportunity to showcase their talents. Ananth Venkachalam from Dallas serenaded the boys with Chopin's Nocturne. Meanwhile, Matthew Bogue of San Antonio selected an upbeat rendition, a battle hymn of the Republic. Former South Dakota Governor and current State Senator Mike Rounds spoke to Boy Staters during the Second General Assembly on Tuesday morning. Senator Rounds offered financial advice in regards to paying any future college and career plans while keeping track of income and paying taxes. Rounds then opened the floor for questions in which key political issues such as budget, in income inequality, Supreme Court nominations, and the Syrian refugee crisis was addressed. The media team pulled Senator Rounds aside for a brief interview. Here's our own Lincoln Bernhard. All right, Senator Rounds, what's your opinion on Boys State and uh, how it affects the boys of South Dakota? First of all, it wouldn't happen if it wasn't for, for members of, uh, of the American Legion that were in here right now helping out, so we've got to say thank you to them. But Boys State is an opportunity for people to actually see how government at the local level works. That's a big deal, and we need local leaders across the state. So. If you come on in and you learn how to run for election and so forth, you get a chance to meet with other people from around the, uh, around the state. This is a positive thing, and it's really good for civics. It's, it's a really good opportunity for young men to figure out the civics of the United States, put it into practice here on a practice basis, and be a little bit less hesitant about doing it later on when it comes time to run for a school board or for a city council or a, or a county level or a state level office, or for that matter, uh, you know, the legislature or House of Representatives, president or a senator. All right, and uh, do you have any opinions on the upcoming presidential election? I think a lot of people out there right now are kind of frustrated because everybody likes and everybody started out with when you have 17, 18 different candidates to begin with, and you start breaking them out a little bit. Everybody had their favorite. Mine was Mike Huckabee. But now we're down to having the possibilities of just one of two candidates. So now it's not so much a matter of which one you like in terms of personality. It's a matter of which one would do a better job working through appointing the right people, appointing the right people to the Supreme Court and so forth. That's the reason why I'm going to, I'm going to support the Republican candidate for president because I think right now the best shot we've got at actually fixing this debt we've got, actually slowing down this tax problem we've got with country, with uh, 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 businesses leaving the United States, we got a regulatory environment here that's out of control. We've got a president that's literally ordering executive orders because Congress won't agree with him on making new laws, so he's just, and then you got to go to the courts to stop him. So for me, I'm more interested in having a case of where people have a chance to say which laws they've got, which regulations they want, and I think uh, the Republican nominee is going to do a better job of that than the Democrat nominee is. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in to the Boy State Evening News. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter account at SD Boy State. 
This year's hashtag is hashtag SDBoyState 2K16. For the media team, I'm Brady Nicholas. Stay classy, Boys State.